Welcome back to Sarah Sarah. How's it going everyone? We are back and and we have not talked about these two in a while, but I thought today would be a good day because some exciting things are going on. Who are we talking about? We are talking about Beth Mead and Viviana Miedema. Yes. Beth and- Mead squared. Uh, <laughs> this actually was just gonna be uh, Beth getting the MBE and but it kind of turned into like catch up with them yeah we're gonna kind of <laughs> catch up with them and we might not go over everything but we're gonna go over a few things that um were extra cute but i guess we'll start we'll start current day i guess and then we'll go backward a little bit because this is exciting uh. what happened the other day was really really exciting um i i guess i'll read the headline here this will summarize it better than sarah and i could an incredible day for my family. Lioness Beth Mead says it was surreal to receive her MBE from the Prince of Wales at Windsor Castle. Beth and also Lucy Bronze, they received the honor of MBE. So it's the member of the Order of the British Empire. Everyone who watches this video who's from Britain or for, who is from the UK know exactly what this yeah, is. Yeah, they'll know a lot better than we do. Yes, yes. But I know it's in a major, major, major honor. England's women's Euro winners Beth Mead and Lucy Bronze received their MBEs for services to football from Prince William at Windsor Castle. So yeah, so I mean, I'll flash all the pictures that we have. I mean, first of all, they look great. And look at Lucy. Wow, look at Lucy. Lucy looks I so- I love that outfit. I mean, she looks so precious. Literally so precious in the hat and everything. So Lucy looks great. But also Beth looks great. She, oh yeah, you Beth know, looks so good. Great. But Lucy, I love that outfit on Lucy. Um, but there's pictures and I'll, and I'll flash the pictures. But also, also how exciting this is. I mean, after the whole coronation and everything, you know, everyone is royal crazy right now. You know what I Everything's mean? Everything's looking British. Yes. Yeah. My whole my whole feed on TikTok was all coronation stuff. I think that get this right now that time's also really exciting because everything that's been going on all, all the festivities over there very exciting and so if i go through some of these pictures first let's look through, through uh best pictures she she's there with her metal is that color peach is it salmon what color would you say that is rose i oh it's kind of like a nude rose i no actually i would say that's like a nude could be like a nude cream peachy color yes i love that color that color is great and then obviously here her and lucy and then here's a picture of her family and viv so but we're gonna get to that in a second as well but viv looking looking great got her brother and her dad there and then viv right there and i mean that's the picture right there i mean that's the grandkids will be talking about that forever you know what i mean yeah such i mean how cool is that that is yeah. It's very, very cool. And then there, her and her puppy, and her puppy's excited. Then in her caption, she says, She says, Wow, words can't express today the pride I felt when I received my MBE today. Never did I think I'd be deserving of something so prestigious for playing the game I love. Proud day for me and my family. Mom would have been in her element, but she was definitely there at heart. Yeah, Yeah, and that was the other thing I was thinking, you know, since her mom recently passed away, that's very, very, you know, you have these big moments and you know, one of the most important people in your life wasn't able to be there. That is a hard uh, thing. I'm sure she felt that the whole day, but I'm sure she felt her mom was with her. Yeah, in spirit, totally. But, um, but yeah, so very, very cool. And as you can see, Viv was right there with her at, uh, it happened at Windsor Castle. Then Viv also posted about it too. She had some really cute pictures too. She uh, the first one oh was my God, isn't that that's cool? Some beautiful picture. I know. Got <laughs> Viv, Beth, and her brother, Beth's brother, but right in front of Windsor Castle. I mean, that no is no big freaking deal at all. That is wild. In that picture of Windsor Castle. Oh my God, the lawn is that real? I know. Is that real? <laughs> it is looks so real grass. It's like no hmm. one's ever stepped on it. Yeah, is that real? That's a good question. Then a selfie right there at the bathroom. It might be the bathroom at Windsor Castle. <laughs> um, you need a bathroom mirror oh, you know everywhere what? you go. In that picture, it looks more tan. That's what, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it depends on the lighting, more, but yeah. it's like a cream. Yeah. Better cream, better cream. But I love the white on Viv. She looks great. Then Viv posted a really cute message, message on the post. Big MBE day. You gave so many people joy last summer and helped women's footy in the UK grow together with all the other lionesses. Well done on staying down to earth ish. <laughs> Deserved everything you got today. So and cute. then so that was super cute. And then um <laughs> and then Beth Mead comments, nicest thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> I believe it. Isn't that the cutest thing? I love their banter and 
it's super cute. I mean, that's the kind of uh, relationship that they seem to have where, because remember when um, Beth Mead was talking about Viv before we knew they were official last summer during that the uh-huh. chat show, and she t- talked about Viv being played, and it was yeah. super funny. It was like totally a funny thing. Uh, but for Be- Beth to say that, that, I mean, that was really sweet. And for Viv to say that, it's it, kind of gushy, gushy. It's hard to be gushy when you're yeah. not gushy. For her to say that, and for her to Beth to say that back, I think that's super cute. And that just shows how much the whole day meant to both of them. But uh, so that was super cute. And it was special that Viv was there with Beth. Because if you think about it, this video is going to be kind of not kind of in a weird order too. But if you think about it, Beth and Viv officially haven't even been dating for a whole year yet. So if you if we talk about when they made it official to each other last year, it was like the middle to end of June. Because remember how because remember, Beth had asked Viv to be her girlfriend after mm-hmm. the friendly, the Netherlands, England friendly. And that was in June of last year. So it hasn't even been a whole year, but I feel like we've had so much. I don't know if time is flying, but it feels like it's been like two or three years. Yeah, I feel that too. Wild. I feel like it's been longer than probably because they had known each other for so long. Uh, because last summer, seems that seems like such a long time ago because they had done so much in this last 11 months. They've gone yeah. to so many events. They've been to so many awards. Also, Viv being there with Viv, Beth when her mom passed away. You know, Beth was going through the hardest moment of her whole entire life with her mom being sick. You yeah. know, so you know they they've they've been through so much in just this eleven months. Not only did she was she awarded the MBE, but also her birthday was three days before that, I believe. But her birthday's May 9th, and it was her birthday. And she turned 28 years old. Your birthday, then an MBE. That's the best birthday present she could ever be given. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And so it was her birthday. And a lot of her teammates and friends uh, wished her a happy birthday. Uh, you know, it's always fun to see what the partner of someone on their birthday is going to write. You know, a lot of for the football couples, football couples in particular. But Viv had these cute pictures. It was her and Beth at this this restaurant they look like twins here <laughs> they, they kind of do with the black and and that that where they are that's like one of beth's favorite restaurants because i i remember a picture where she took dan there too um she really likes this restaurant it must yeah, be we, famous we don't talk about that <laughs> but there's been other pictures where i've seen at this oh, specific this one restaurant. in iceland where it's in ice i made no, that up i don't think so <laughs> okay. i don't think so. but a super cute picture of them there and then also, this picture is very cute. Oh, thank you for letting me nap 24 7. Oh, is that you? That is, a, yeah, I know, I know. That's that is so, so cute. cute. Yeah, that is adorable. So, Viv was excited that it was her birthday. But, um, you know, that was about a week ago. But even before then, I mean, they are still, they're still recovering from their ACLs, you know, ACL 1, ACL 2. They have some company now which isn't fun they yeah. have leah and lara they have so it's been it's been you know we talked about this in our one of our other videos as much as they all hate where they are the fact that you have other people going through exactly what you're going through it almost is like yeah. a comforting feeling yeah um, but they had the viv had the picture of all four of them and said the acl group is full now please <laughs> no more so yeah we will not be accepting new members yeah exactly <laughs> exactly <laughs> Uh, but even before then, when you did your video a couple months ago, we had talked about they were in Miami together on vacation. Then they yeah. were at the Best of FIFA Awards. So they had been doing a lot of things. And also, you know, they're not obviously playing at the games, but you'll, you'll, they always like, pay, a lot of times they'll pan to them. And they're sitting and, you know, they always look, uh, they wish they were out there. I mean, that's, that's what they wish are out there. It's so hard. They are so pumped for the team and everything, but they want to be out there, you know? know? And then we'll just put some pictures on the background of some of the pictures, some of the things they've been up to the last couple months. This is no particular sequence, but there was a, another cute moment they had. Um, it was on Beth's Instagram, and this was posted April 6th. It was on April 6th. The Lionesses played Brazil, and uh, Beth Mead was there, and some other the other Arsenal girls were there as well. And who did they run into? Oh, only the Spice Girls. Yeah. Emma Bunton and Jerry Hallowell. And first of all, super cool picture. I don't think you get bigger than the Spice Girls in the UK. You know what I mean? So they were there. And so the, the pictures of Beth and her dad also, if you look through the little photo dump. But this is where it kind of gets funny. Beth made the captions at Nights at Wembley. And Viv, and Viv had a funny comment. She commented, you don't sing like a Spice Girl. <laughs> 
And Beth said, I'm working on it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. <laughs> uh, that's like their banter. Like, they they give it to each other. How- it's, it's similar banter. It reminds me of kind of like Sam and Christy. The oh, beginning. yeah. In the beginning where like, they're just like. just poking fun at each other. But super cute. I mean, oh, it's just fun. I mean, I love seeing those moments. Also, they've just been doing things. And Beth put a little photo dump together and also says in April, in all its glory. And then they had pictures of a couple cute pictures with Viv, a picture with uh, Marcus Mumford. Tell me who's in, tell me who's in the first photo, Sarah. People from, uh, I believe, uh, that's from Ted Lasso. Oh, is it Ted Lasso? Yeah, yeah, you got Jason Sudeikis. Oh, and, is it? Yeah. That is really cool. And then here's a picture <laughs> of Viv and Beth. And I believe that's Emma Mitchell's baby. And look at the injured, the injured squad. I mean, Kim Little. So, so they've been doing a lot. They had been doing a lot of fun things in April leading up. So that was uh, the most recent photo dump. But then there was an, another photo dump Beth did. And it looks like you could title it recently, but it looks like she recently. It looks like she got a, tat- a couple tattoos. Love you loads. Yeah, love you loads. Uh, it might have been in honor of her mom. I I don't know. Mm. I kind of got that, but yeah. very special. I love that font. I love that kind of delicate fine line tattoos. I love those. Yeah, it looks very cute. Very cool. Cute picture of Viv there. Um, I like that aesthetic. I don't know where they. It looks very British. That wherever they are, it looks very British. <laughs> and then. I think this is still Beth, but could it be Viv? No. No. Why don't you think so? No, that's that's a very Beth arm. Oh, and that is a, I can't tell arm, but that is very cool. Palm tree. Love palm trees. Beth with a baby and then Beth with her puppy. So they were up to that. And that was on Beth's Instagram. And then if you go to Viv, she actually shared a couple of pictures too recently. And this was quite a while ago, but... It's when they won the Conti Cup, which was March 5th. So this was a while ago, but I don't even know if you saw this there. Well, you probably saw it because you follow Viv on Instagram. But um, after they won the Conti Cup, Viv was crying because she was emotional. And she felt, I mean, you know, sometimes you can't, you know, your emotions just kind of take over. But really sweet video of her crying. And then, you know, the girls winning. And then her and Beth and Beth's dad there. So that was a cool moment for both of them. And then Viv also posted pictures. Then she posted that same picture I think Beth had on hers. We didn't really react to this, but it's just Viv uh, getting stronger and then Beth running. So they're they're recouping together. That's good to see. A cute picture of Beth at that same restaurant. Ooh, I looks like the background. Very British. I love it. Uh, and oh, just relaxing. A relaxing <laughs> queen. queen. Oh, that chair looks very comfy. The caption was another couple of weeks of rehab done. First time on the bike. First time running. At, she adds Beth Mead. Then Beth says, you done good, Mesh. We building. Yeah, so very cute. So they've been up to a lot of things, just very domestic things, very wifey things, very girlfriend things in the last yeah. couple months. Um, but each step of the way, they've been together doing it. You know, they're recovering together. They're going to the events together. They are like one person right now. Yeah, that makes for a strong, strong couple. Yes. So they've been doing so much together. They are, yeah, they are one they are so in sync right now. Mm, they should start a band. <laughs> a lot of emotions, too. So many emotions going on. And then they were at a concert together. I'm not quite sure whose concert they were at. This one right here. A cute picture of them. <laughs> Did another cute picture with Mana and Viv and Beth. Oh, Mana's so cute. I can't. But they, this was the event they were at. Tonight was all about raising money for Syria and Turkey to provide help after the recent earthquakes. Yeah, that was the event that they mean such, you know, fun things within serious things again. So fun things. And then also there was a uh, kind of like a documentary, kind of like an interview for it was in Dutch, but it, it had subtitles. And there was a cute moment in there where Viv was talking kind of about her injury or whatnot. And then they were talking about, um, you know, that. It happened to Viv and Beth, her partner, you know, on and off the field. It happened to. And then there's a cute moment where they're talking in the kitchen. And in the interview, she kind of talks about, you know, sometimes it's nice to be recovering with Beth. But then other times, sometimes we want to kill each other. <laughs> I thought you were say kiss each other, but that <laughs> took a turn. <laughs> deadly turn. But we love, you know, but it's just the nature of being frustrated about the injury that we both have and she also says yeah. you couldn't write a you couldn't write a script like this like no one would believe a script in hollywood that this happened <laughs> yeah, it would be too it would be too formulaic oh no if you can't have the two best players in the world you know what i mean both get injured yeah, it's a very what are the odds moment yeah so she was kind of talking about that 
Um, but they have just been, they're still just, you know, trying to heal together. Uh, Beth also did an interview after the MBE ceremony about, you know, does she think she's going to make it back to the World Cup? And, you know, more than likely not, but she's still not closing that door. You know, it's not like her saying, of course, you know, that's not going to be possible. She's like, you know, it's up to Serena Vigman and, you know, you never know. If anyone could, I said this about Kristen Press, if anyone can do it, it's a Beth Mead, you know. Mm -hmm. But they have been doing a lot of things and they've been having a lot of fun, even just like pictures. Like I said, I'll put some pictures in the background um, of them just kind of doing things, but also them just kind of being on the sidelines. They were gutted after the Wolfsburg Arsenal game uh, for the Champions League. At the very end of the, the match, you saw you know, them walking around, kind of consoling everyone. Mm -hmm. They wish they could have been out there. You know what I mean? They want to get back. Beth is already back running. Exciting to see Beth back. Look at her writing here. Viv took a... Oh, I love this. Yeah. And so, so good to see them back on the road to recovery. They're, you know, they will get there eventually. But, you know, they are just doing a lot of things. And they are such a team together. That, but also, it hasn't even been a year. I mean, remember last year when it came out that they were dating and we were freaking out. And I think, didn't, I think there's some people who still can't believe it. I know. I think that's it. I think they're like, I wait, think it's real at this point, guys. I was rewatching our videos just talking about like no one. But it, it, and I think it's also crazy. It hasn't even been an official year based on their timeline that they've done so much. It have been through. They have been through so much in the last 10 months that couples in 10 years haven't been through. I know. That is wild. Yeah. And they're still having fun. Their banter is still there. And I mean, I love Wag Viv. It's my favorite <laughs> because she's supporting Beth in so many things that she's the plus one. She's mm -hmm. the the wag. And I love that. I love that. And I think she really relishes that, that you know, part that of it. Role. That role. Yeah. But obviously... Congrats to Beth and Lucy on MBE uh, honors and happy birthday to Beth Mead. And, you know, their banter. My favorite is their banter. You don't sing like a Spice Girl. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. I just love it. I love their interaction. Super They're cute. Obsessed. What does everyone think? Questions, comments down below. Has there, in the last few months, has anything stuck out to you? So much going on. And these pictures from Windsor Castle are amazing. Amazing. Uh, amazing. Questions, comments down below. We'll talk to everyone later. Have a great night. Bye. Bye.